Yo, what's up guys, Keenan here. Listen to Coach Greg, okay? Do not listen, do not listen to Abby Shark doo 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 doo. Because she's got some, she says some stupid things. Let me just, let me just be honest. Coach Greg knows what he's talking about. So if you are into fitness at all or losing weight at all, just listen to Coach Greg because Abby does not know what she's talking about. She sits there and talks about carb cycling, which Coach Greg doesn't do, but carb cycling is not gonna help you lose weight if you're not still in a caloric deficit. That's the, that's the issue. So she's saying carb cycling for losing weight, but if, you're, if your caloric intake is too high, Carb cycling ain't gonna make you lose weight. You're gonna store fat. You're gonna gain weight from it. So that's kind of how carb cycling works. You still need to have lower calories to lose weight. Carb cycling does work for building muscle because it's kind of like a it's kind of like a miniature glycogen supercompensation, which I'm gonna make another video on that at a later date. Yeah, she was saying some crazy stuff and so coach Greg not only eats healthy and doesn't eat crap because he wants to have a good physique he teaches us discipline he teaches us how to stay disciplined and Abby Sharp is trying to teach people the opposite she's trying to tell you to not have any discipline. Like, what kind of advice is that? You're not gonna get anywhere if you don't have some self-discipline. I mean, let's just be honest here. Now, I get some of her advice may be good for non-athletes. I mean, I can kinda understand that. But she has no business talking to coach Greg because most of his subscribers, most of the people that are gonna follow his advice are most likely athletes, most likely really into fitness. So it makes sense for people who are into fitness and athletes to listen to coach Greg. It does not make sense for those athletes to and you know bodybuilder fitness people to listen to Abby Sharp she has no she has no business giving advice to anyone other than people who maybe just want to be healthier or maybe just want to i mean i honestly don't even think that you can lose a lot of weight from her advice like she's not telling you good advice because it's very simple. Coach Greg talks about it. Calories in, calories out. I cannot believe, yeah, she, I mean, after watching that video, man, she clearly, she just wants some of Greg's clout. I mean, that's it. She just wants some of that clout. But the problem is, all of his subscribers and all of his, all the people that watch his shit, they're gonna think the same thing. Dude. They're gonna be, they're gonna have the, I mean, you guys are all probably thinking the same thing I am. Like, she has no clue what she's talking about. She's a dietitian. She, she knows how to make you I don't know. I really don't know. Like, she she can help you make your meal taste better. I mean, that's what it sounds like. She can help you eat more things you like, but she's not gonna help you be disciplined. She's not gonna help you become an athlete. She's not gonna really help you lose weight. So, 
Yeah. D don't listen to her. If you're an athlete, listen to Coach Gray. So that's kind of it for this rant. I just, I, I really laughed when I was watching those videos, man. I really laughed. I was like, I got to make a video on this because it's people like her that just make, people like her make the fitness industry annoying. Um, people that just don't know shit, man. Like, I just, and another video Coach Greg did, like, but this is this is really why I like Greg to set. He doesn't bullshit you. He's teaching. Yeah, he's not. Um, his videos aren't the the coolest. You know, he's not the most. He's not going to be the most marketable person. But who gives a shit, man? He's here to tell you what's right and what's dumb. So we need more people like him. And that's why I'm making this video because more people need to listen to him. More people to li need to listen to advice like his and like my advice right now. So if we can get more people to understand that his advice is good and that people like Abby Sharp have crappy advice, it's gonna make things a lot better for the fitness industry. Like, <laughs> this other video that um, I watched Greg do on um, V-Shred, I, I think his name is V-Shred. I could not believe what he was saying, man. Like, so many people don't know anything. Like, if you want to, if you want to help people in fitness and lose weight and build muscle, read some freaking books like actually learn some shit before you actually start trying to teach people and train people because I could not believe I could not believe when V Shred was talking about losing weight like here's 10 low calorie snacks and he added peanut butter to 4 or 5 of them like that is just dumb that's that's so freaking annoying people like that make me mad and that's why Greg did that video he got triggered by this because you know how many calories are in a tablespoon of peanut butter one tablespoon has like 70 calories that's a that's a, such a small amount too because when you measure a tablespoon you don't have excess you don't have like the big round extra peanut butter on top of the spoon you have to scrape that off and then literally whatever is inside of the spoon that's what you count as the tablespoon so most people that take a scoop of peanut butter it's probably two or three tablespoons honestly so yeah he was like right on, he was right on the money when he said every bite that uh someone has taken like when when you're putting peanut butter on a banana every every scoop that you add to that banana is at least 100 calories he was right on the money with that so you just turn like a 90 or 80 calorie banana or 60 calories whatever it is into like a 600 calorie banana 600 calories dude that's not a low calorie meal it's just not. If you're trying to lose weight, depending on your body weight, you gotta stick around 2,000 calories. Like, if you're going over 2,000 calories, you're gonna have a hard time losing weight. It doesn't matter how big you are. It doesn't matter how small you are. 2,000 calories, like 2,500 calories, it's what I would need to maintain my body weight. And I'm, I'm 200 pounds. And I lift. I have a physical job. And I still would only need 2,500 calories to maintain my weight. 2,800, 2,900 calories. 
3,000 calories would help me gain a pound a week. 3,000 calories. And people like V-Shred are telling you to take in 2,900 calories to lose weight. That shit ain't gonna work. 2,900 calories to lose weight? Yeah, maybe if, you're, maybe if you weigh 350 pounds, 2,900 calories will help you lose weight. But to lose weight on 2,900 calories, you would have to weigh, like, you'd have to weigh at least 200 pounds, and then you would have to work out for like an hour a day, and then you would have to bike for an hour a day as well, like Coach Greg, and, and burn 800 calories. And then even then, even at that moment, where you're burning 2,900 calories or 3,000 calories, it would take you a month to lose one pound. Like, I cannot believe that, man. Like, it's good to be active, but it's way easier to cut your diet down, take in less calories if you're trying to lose weight. That's it for this rant, though, guys. Don't listen to Abby Sharp. Don't listen to V-Shred. Listen to people who know their shit. And Greg Doucette should have millions of followers. Or millions of subscribers. He should, he should be one of the most viewed people in the fitness industry. Because he's giving you real, honest advice. So, listen to Coach Greg. Listen to me. Listen to anyone like us who gives you the correct advice. And that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, yeah. That's it, guys. Peace out. We'll see you in the next one.